Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Up Close and Personal with Angela on behalf of Aspiring Office Magazine. For those that do not know who I am, I'm Angela Thomas Smith. I'm the founder of AALAC, which is the African American Author Literacy Awareness Campaign, where I truly believe in bringing awareness to brown authors all over this world. I'm also the CEO of Aspiring Authors Magazine, where I believe in bridging the gap between brown authors all over this world and touching on topics that people do not want to talk about that's affecting the brown community. So today, I'm going to be sharing my platform with an amazing young lady. I'm going to bring her up and allow her to introduce herself and share just a little bit about herself. Hello. Hi, Hi, how are you? <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you so, for coming. Thank you. Well, my name is Lavette Shirley Ely. Um, I am actually originally from Tucson, Arizona. Um, I have lived in Tucson. I've lived in several cities in Ohio, and I currently am residing in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I have two children. Uh, both are boys. Uh, one is 18. He actually just turned 18 a few weeks ago, so I'm still getting used to that. Um, and I have a two-year-old. Um, both are absolutely amazing and are my driving forces. Um, I have been married for about six years now. Um, I am also a medical provider, specifically a PA. Um, I've been working in urgent care centers um, in the Charlotte and surrounding areas for approximately eight years now. And I published my first book. I saw my PA today in August of this year. Wow, amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so what has this journey been like um, to get here? Um, yeah. Because you are doing some amazing things. Um, I see um, that you're an author. And then, of course, you're in the healthcare um, field. Um, yeah. <laughs> So how has this been? Um, and then you're a mom and a wife. So <laughs> above all things, you you, you juggle a lot. You I mean that? <laughs> yeah. So I've, I've definitely, I think, um, through my uh, life and the things that I've been through, I think they've kind of all um, helped me to get to where I am today, um, where I'm able to, like you said, juggle quite a few um, different things and wear several different hats and try to do them you know, to the best of my ability. Um, you know, it's been a definitely been a rough year. And I think that's been for absolutely everybody. So being in the medical field, seeing um, people, looking them in the eyes and not just seeing, you know, numbers or percentages um, on the news, um, is, it's been very difficult. Um, but the thing about writing for me is that it's, um, it's something that actually helps me to cope um, with a lot of what's going on. So it's actually been, even though I, I know it's an extra task to have to focus on writing and reading and, um, but it actually ha has helped me to cope with some of my anxiety um, in the, in this last year. <laughs> wow. So I know <clears throat> being in the medical field um, mm -hmm. and dealing with COVID and all that's been going on and you decided to write, um, what made you want to, to go ahead and write right now. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time um, because, like I said, I, I work in urgent care. So I see a lot of children and um, they are pretty much always absolutely terrified <laughs> to be there. Um, and that's actually in some adults, too, to be to be quite honest. Um, but I wanted to address this in children specifically um, because I, I feel like they're just so scared and um, and I in most cases, I will say, ultimately, at the end of the visit, they're like, you know, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, you know. Um, so I wanted to uh, write my first book just to kind of make children aware of um, kind of what they're going to be dealing with or kind of give them a step by step of this is what you're going to go through. It's going to be fine. You know, we're here to help and support you. You know, but you got to come in and see us, you know, especially if something is going on. Um, for my first book, it was an injury. My second uh, medical book, um, it, it actually wasn't an injury. Injury. So that makes, you know, children aware that even sometimes when you're not feeling bad, you still want to be come in and be seen because we want to keep you feeling well. Um, and right now I chose to go ahead and write it um, because, like I said, I, I really does help uh, with some of my anxiety. So I really needed to put that into something. Um, and since writing has always been that for me, that kind of release and that um, that has always helped me to um, deal with some of my anxiety. Um, this was a perfect time to do it because it's 
especially in the beginning of the pandemic when we really didn't know a lot and we still don't know a lot, but we really didn't know a lot about what was going on. And I had to go to work every day and come face to face with these people. Um, it was just something that, you know, had me, you know, feeling very anxious. So I decided to go ahead and write and, and put my anxiety into something uh, productive. And that's where the books kind of stemmed from. And another thing, um, when you were when you were speaking, I was just something was dropped in my spirit. Like you know how when kids are young, we put this fear in them. Oh, you go to the doctor, you are gonna get this shot. You be bad. We gonna take you to the doctor. Yeah. To the doctor to give you a shot. You know, yeah. so kids, you know, they they reminded of that. And then when they get older, they don't want to go to the doctor. And then yeah. they pass that down, and they just keep getting passed down. So I thank you. Because you you're, you're showing them, you know that it's it's not all bad. That is this yeah. is for you. this is good. You can have a good experience, you know. Mm -hmm. And you're putting a, a a great side to it. I, I love the fact that you are reaching our brown community. Yeah. <laughs> our Absolutely. brown community. Um, mm -hmm. definitely we don't like to go. We don't like to go to the doctors. And we don't like to tell people when things are going on with us. Um, we, we just have these, this, this, we don't like to do it. So I yeah. think, I, I, I think you for sharing that. Um, yeah. So I want you to share something about you that no one knows about you as an author. Um, what do you like to do outside of writing? And because so, I know you have a beautiful baby that looks like. <laughs> Yes, thank you. <laughs> that is that is probably one of the biggest things. You know, I love coming home, but he's just, you know, so happy to see his mom. <laughs> it just feels good. Um, but outside of, you know, family and outside of um, you know, writing and, and working, um, I love karaoke. Like I, you know, I could do karaoke all day. <laughs> um, and probably the, the one of another stress reliever for me is something that I really enjoy doing is actually kickboxing. So I'm actually, you know, it, I think it's funny when people really know my personality because I'm pretty kind of laid back and, you know, I think people think I'm really friendly and everything I am. Um, but I really enjoy kickboxing um, just as a exercise um, for release of kind of some stress and anxiety and just to have fun. So yeah. <laughs> it's probably something a lot of people don't know about me. <laughs> and I have a mean uh, round kick, <laughs> round house kick. <laughs> so do you have any, um, do you have a copy of your book? that you can show and you can share your links and you can share how people can get in contact with you. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So my first book here is, um, I saw my PA today. I'm getting the camera there. This is the first book. And um, my second book, actually, we have it discussed today, but this is called Remarkably You, Remarkably Me. Um, really just about unity, uh, coming together as women and supporting each other. So this is an affirmation poem. Um, and then my last book um, that came out uh, November 1st, uh, My Primary Care PA. And this is the one that I was talking about that deals with um, a young boy going to his primary doctor and just trying to figure out, you know, why he's going. Um, so they can all actually be purchased on um, Amazon. And just to make it easy for everyone, if you visit my website at lseleecreations.com, uh, then you go to the My Books tab and you, there are direct links to purchase all three books. And if you post it in the private chat, I can post it in the comments and post it on the screen so they can see it. That'd be perfect. Thank you. I'm on my phone, so I'll figure out how to do that. <laughs> oh, I can do it after. We lost her. We haven't technical difficulty. She'll be back. We lost her. Um, she was having problems getting on with her computer, so she had to use her phone, and she was trying to post something. But we lost her. Hopefully, she'll be able to come back. But I tell you, if you have not visited her website, please go over and visit her website. Not only does... I'm going to let her... Uh, uh, hopefully, she'll come back, um, <clears throat> and she'll be able to share. But she's also... Um, an individual that you guys will want to connect with. She has a website where she features authors. Um, she does um, blogs. She does a lot of other stuff um, outside just being a PA and um, being an author. So um, she's definitely someone that you want to connect with. I'm going to see if we can get her back on. Here she is. Hi, 
<laughs> Look, I was like, we having technical difficulties. I said, I forgot we were you. We couldn't get on on your computer, so you had to use your phone. And I don't think yeah. you can go back and forth on your That's phone like that. So, I just okay. have you yet. so what okay. we'll do is after this is over, we'll just post it. Um, we can just okay. post it in the comment section. So, um, those that catch this afterwards, um, they can um they can follow you. Perfect. Um, Thank you. I want you also to share um, about your website and um, the stuff that you do for authors because I see you featured me on your website. On your you did. Yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah, so that's something that I'm very uh, passionate about. You know, and like it's my second book talks about it when you're women supporting women, um, but we just have to do better in general. Um, our community as authors, um, the black community, like as at supporting each other. So everything is not about you. Um, everything is not about me. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's very important for me. And this is not charging any authors. This is not, you know, asking for something to do something for me, but just taking a moment to actually highlight what other people are doing. And I think that's so important. Um, so, you know, as I have been, um, you know, getting involved in more groups on Facebook um, and, and um, seeing what other people are doing, what you're doing, uh, which is amazing as well, because you featured me also <laughs> in the magazine. And, um, just taking a, a a second just to highlight what other people are doing, um, I think that's that's really important. So I'm, you know, featuring authors as far as you know, telling you know other people about their books, um, you know, having author interviews um, on the website. And if any authors are, you know, want to be considered for that, please just uh, send me an email, and that's at l dot s dot creations at gmail dot com. And I'll send you, um, you know, some uh, information as to, you know, uh, how, how you'd like to be featured if you want to be interviewed or, um, and then I also have a, an author's uplift page as well um, that will have um, various authors uh, books and you can actually, if you click on their book, you will have a direct link to uh, purchase um, from Amazon or whatever site they uh, would like you to be directed to. Um, and that's just another way to help other authors out, um, to highlight other authors and to have a place for, um, people if they're looking for you know books to read um, and really don't know where they want to go next if you go ahead and visit my site and look at the author uplift tab um, there are several authors on there with awesome awesome books so take a look at that as well yes that's amazing i thank you for that thank you <laughs> and we got a couple of hellos that's my friend from dubai she said hello hello how are you is that yeah. the uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> and then we have germany Daphne. Oh, awesome. Hi, Daphne. How are you? <laughs> they all are international friends today. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> so, yes, um, that is amazing. Um, sh your link is um, featured on our blog, your information, so that um, people that visit. Um, I actually created a, um, a blog post where individuals, I think there's about 25 um, different um, platforms that people can be featured on. Um, there are a lot of them are free. Some of them um, accept donations, and then some of them require investments, depending on what level you're willing to invest. If, if you can invest, there's uh, take advantage of the free stuff. And I put it out there so that you can take advantage of it. You are listed on there. so um, Thank you so much. <laughs> that's something I have been sharing um, across the blog. And then you're also featured um, on the magazine blog as well. Yeah. So people can go over there and check you out. I think you're one of the most viewed um, <laughs> blogs. You have been one of the most viewed, viewed blogs so far. Um, yeah, I think you have right at 6.05. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so you're doing amazingly oh, well. Over there. So people are checking you out. You know, I tell oh, people all the time, I say, people may not be spending a million dollars with you but they're seeing what you're doing so yeah. keep doing what you're doing because people are seeing you, you yeah know, seeing what you're doing so i thank you for what you're doing um mm -hmm. i've been asking everybody um there's two words that i've been asking everybody and i'm gonna mm -hmm. choose which word you want to um tell me what that means to you so i've been okay. asking people what life means and what power mm -hmm. means to them um i'll say power um and i think that that means that you 
you know what your gift is, I think, and you're, and you're using it and living in it, um, I think, gives you power. Um, I think when people think of the word power, they're always considering kind of what they can do, um, you know, how they can, ta- you know, have a step above other people, um, how they can use other people. Um, but it, to me, it, to really be powerful, um, you actually, people want to listen to you and want to follow what you're doing uh, because you're displaying kindness and, you know, compassion and um, giving them hope. Um, so to me, that is powerful. Wow. So, like, God has been dealing with me with words, and that was one of the words that he, like, literally broke down Mm -hmm. the letter, the P, the O, the W, the E, and the R. Mm -hmm. So, P stands for position. We have to position ourselves so that we can overcome any obstacle that come at us, because they're going to come. And we have to believe that we have to stand on Luke 1 and 37. We have to have faith. You know, and we have to know that that faith... It does not make it easy, but it makes it possible. Mm-hmm. And we have to know that everything that comes at us, you know, it, it, it don't come to break us, but some of it comes to build our character. We have to know how to keep pressing and not let everything tear us down and to tap in that's, that's in the inside of us. We get so caught up in the flesh, we forget about the spirit. We forget mm-hmm. about the spirit that they're supposed to guide us. And then we have to be willing. We have to be a willing vessel to mm-hmm. empower others, to encourage yeah. others, to educate others. Mm-hmm. And we have to show resilience. Yeah. Can't let the bumps in the roads, the, the 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 hills that we have to climb stop us from doing anything because he already told us in Jeremiah 29 and 11 that he had a plan for us. The prosper us was being good health for us to have hope in a future. And I want to share with you about I want to share with you life. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned love and hope. Life, he he revealed to me, he was like, nobody's showing love anymore. Love is one of the greatest commandments. We're supposed to love our brothers and our sisters as we love ourselves. So, and we're not doing that. And the I stands for inspiration. Our life is supposed to be an inspiration to others. We shouldn't even have to open our mouths. When we walk in a room, people, it, it, it should just light up. People should see what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And then we have to have the fear of God. Or yeah. whatever your <laughs> creator is, your spiritual connection is, at the end of the day, it's, it's only one God. Yeah. How you get to that one God, I, I can't tell you how to get there. But it's only yeah. one God. And then the E3 experience. Educate, empower, and encourage. And some mm-hmm. of us we're not doing any of that. And then we wonder why things are just happening around us because we're just existing. We're not living life. Mm-hmm. We're not doing those things. We're not showing love. We're not inspiring nobody. And we definitely don't have the fear of God. So I tell you, God has been dealing with me with words. Um, yeah. I thank you for coming on and sharing um, your perspective on power because it lines up with exactly what he dropped in my spirit and what everybody else has yeah. been coming and sharing. You know, it's just like everybody that come on and share, it's like we're on one accord and I thank him for this platform because it's given us the opportunity yeah. to come together and to meet each other yeah. because, you know, yeah. nobody may not, a lot of people may not be on seeing this right now, but when they see the replay, then they're going to be able to say, oh, okay, she's doing this, she's doing that. Now we can connect with her, you know, and Absolutely. we can do these, you know, and we all we all win at the end of the day. And then we all can yeah. reach down with somebody else up. And then the more mm-hmm. people we empower, the more people we can pull up. And then that's when our community yeah. wins. And that's when, when the community start winning. That's when the whole world can recover. That's what it's about. Yeah. Um, you have really blessed my spirit. Um, I, want you you share, I want you to share um, something inspirational with those that are listening. Um, because you are you have such a, I don't know, you have such a glow and your spirit from <laughs> the first time we connected, um, it was just, it is, I don't know. You, 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 you just have this, this glow about you and you just want to like me. You just want to see people win. You just want to see people empowered. You just want to see people thriving and yeah. we need more people like that. So I want you to 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 touch that person that is thinking that they're in this alone, that 
they don't have a voice that they're just out there and, and they don't have anybody that they can turn to. Yeah. So, you know, one of the most important things uh, that we can do is make the decisions that are, that we feel like are right. Because ultimately at the end of the day, no matter what decision you make, there's going to be somebody who is there telling you that it is not correct. Um, so I think that it's so important to, like you just mentioned, uh, when you walk into a room and people being able to see who you are, it doesn't mean that everybody's going to see that. You know, there's always going to be somebody who's telling you that you're not doing the right thing. Uh, but just remember that you have to wake up in the morning, you have to look at yourself in the mirror, and you have to recognize who's there. Um, and um, I have learned along the way because although I will try, you know, my best to um, be a reflection of God. And I think that, you know, me, I'm not the type of person that you're always going to hear, you know, t- talking about and posting about. I, I want to be that reflection. I, I'm, I think it's much more important to, for people to see God in me than for me to just to be speaking. Cause I, I've always heard people speak. I've been in church my entire life and I have felt that people just will talk and talk and talk, but then when I'm looking at their behaviors, they don't tend to sync up um, because when it comes to helping other people out, when it comes to supporting each other, when it comes to that unity and when it comes to love and just being supportive, there are a lot of people really just, there's no connect there with what people are saying, what they're actually doing. So I try to focus on what I'm doing. So just continue doing what is right, continue loving and continue supporting and know that you're not alone and we're all here. Um, There's a lot of us here, um, you know, on this platform and various platforms, um, you know, that are doing the right things. um, And we just need to connect and come together as a community and support each other. Amen. Amen. You well said. You you definitely said that well. And um, I thank you for coming on and sharing today. Thank you for having me. I truly have been blessed. Um, before we leave, I want you to share your website again. Um, I'm going to get that yes. link posted up, but I want you to share it one more time before we leave. Yes, that is lseleecreations.com. And I want to thank you for coming on today. And I pray that you, you have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed you well. week. Thank you. Thank you. you as well. All right. See you soon. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Up Close and Personal with Angela. Um, I will be back again in the one o'clock hour. I want to thank my guests for coming on and sharing with us. I tell you, um, it is not easy um, coming on and sharing. Um, I get a joy. It, it is my pleasure. It is an honor to have individuals come on and share their journey, share their testimony. So other people will know that they're not in this alone, that there is hope and that there's people out here that truly care and want to see you thriving and want to see you going places and want to see you walking in your purpose. So please, if you can, um, tag somebody, share this. And if you can, please come back in the one o'clock hour. And thank you, Daphne, for sharing um, LeVette's um, website. So this is a website. If you guys didn't catch it, um, please go over and check her out. And thank you, Daphne. I love you guys and be blessed.